I don't think about it About you leaving me I don't know who I'd be But everything we built just turned to broken leaves I don't think about it Do you think of me? Walking out that door Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be bringing you guys along my weekend. Today is Friday so I'm kicking in Friday early by meeting a new friend of mine. Her name's Olivia. We're meeting at the Fairmont Hotel and we are going to get lunch there. So I'm super excited to go. This is my second time hanging out with her. She's so sweet. It's been so fun getting to know her. Well, the first time it was super fun and I'm super excited to continue to get to know her. I've never been to the Olympic Fairmont Hotel, so I'm super excited to go with her and hopefully they have coffee or I don't know, but I'm just super excited to go hang out with her. It's a really pretty day in Seattle. It just started raining though, like five minutes ago, so I'm not looking forward to that. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of walking downtown, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But anyways, I'm super excited that it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. There is not much going on this weekend for us, but I think we're still gonna do some fun things. And I have a partnership with a grocery store called Town & Country that I'm gonna be shooting at this weekend. And so I'm super excited to bring you guys along my grocery shopping and share some recipes with you guys and bring you guys to coffee and just weekend things. Maybe just some homebody things, we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining and let's go to Fairmont Hotel. <laughs> Such a beautiful hotel guys I've never been in it um, I will definitely be going there on a little dinner date with Jordan because it's just so cute I also had the best time with I feel like I consider her friend now Olivia we were literally talking for like three hours if you can't hear my voice is like gone we were talking in there for like three hours I feel like our lives are so similar it's so weird um, but anyways yeah it was super fun um, the ravioli the butternut squash ravioli it got super delicious and honestly, just like the cutest hotel, I'll definitely bring you guys along a different Fairmont Olympic Hotel adventure. But anyways, now I'm headed to Town & Country, which is a grocery store here in Seattle. I'm working with them for the holidays. And I'm going to be creating some yummy like appetizers for the holidays. And so I'm going to be um, picking up the gift card today. And then I think we'll be shooting the content on either Sunday or Monday. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I've actually never shopped at a town and country before and I was looking at it online and it seems like they have some amazing products. So I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, I'm headed to town and country. So I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday in Seattle and Jordan and I are headed to Macarena Bakery and on a little walk. We're trying to get the bean to come with us, but she keeps hiding under the bed. So she might not be joining. But anyways, it's like 7 a.m. 
We're gonna go pick up a bagel maybe and just some drip coffee you at Margarina. How easy it was for me to grab Layla when you tried to for five minutes. I, she came into my hands. You're ridiculous. Yeah, I was trying to get Layla for like five minutes, trying to persuade her out of underneath the bed with treats and she'd come out, but I was trying not to, what's the word? Like have her confused, like when I have her do commands and stuff with me just snatching her up because she kept looking at Jordan with the harness and anyways, got Jordan got her. But yeah, we're headed to get coffee and to Margarita Bakery and then we're gonna come back and clean because our family's coming over later today. Jordan dropped me off and then headed to Petco to pick up some more food for Layla because we ran out. Um, but I'm gonna get cleaning. My Americano tastes so good from Macarita Bakery. I added a splash of oat milk and it is a half calf. I'm trying to wean off of coffee because when I was on vacation, I drink so much coffee. I'm like fully caffeinated that when I got back, I started getting super jittery while I was like a little stressed and just anxious with work. It does not help to be drinking coffee. So. I'm like, I still want to drink it. I want to have it in the mornings, but I'm going to start doing decaf and maybe just do half calf for like a week and then slowly do like every other day, maybe half calf and then the day fully caffeinated and the day like not caffeinated, if that makes sense. But anyways, I need to get cleaning because we need to be ready in like an hour and a half. Um, and there's a lot to clean in here. I'm also going to bake a brownie from scratch and maybe figure out a different dish to make. My mother-in-law is bringing some food, but I feel bad making her make everything for lunch. So I'm gonna try to figure out what I have and make something. So I'll chat with you guys later. decided last night that we're gonna start doing this thing where when we go to sleep we put an eight hour timer so we don't sleep past the eight hours so we did that and it is 6 a.m right now on a sunday that's just crazy also peep the pimple that needs to be very badly popped but anyways i'm about to hop in the shower and then we are heading to costco to try to be there by the time gas opens so we can fill our tank up with gas and then we're gonna go to town and country and then we're gonna go to Sabine because I have a gift card from a previous partnership. Um, I have a gift card to go to Sabine. So we're gonna get coffee there and breakfast. So we're gonna try to be home by like 10, 11 a.m. and just clean the apartment, meal prep, the whole job. We're just gonna try to be ready for this week and then we'll be able to relax the rest of the evening, maybe go on a very long walk, um, read, just, just have a relaxing evening. So that's the goal for the rest of our weekend and for the rest of our Sunday. So it's 6 a.m. and I really need to hop in the shower so I can wake up because I wanna hop back in bed, guys. But I better hop in the shower, so I'll chat with you guys later.
I just finished filming my partnership at Town & Country and we haven't grocery shopped yet. It took me a little longer than expected. It's always a little awkward to have to shoot in front of people. So I was reshooting a couple things, but anyways, we're headed to Sabine now and then we'll be back um, after Sabine just to beat the whole brunch traffic, Sunday brunch traffic. We're gonna go to Sabine now and then come back to Town & Country because it's nearby and do grocery shopping for the week. We were literally the first people in line. We got there at like 8.45 and it opened at 9. So we got in line, but it was actually really nice because the second like 9 o'clock came, there was already a line all the way down like the block pretty much with people. So we got in the first ones in. We got a good seat and we just hung out there for a while. And then we kind of walked around the farmer's market because I forgot it was Sunday and the Ballard farmer's market is going on. But anyway, so we're headed back to town and country. We're going to buy groceries now for the week and then we're headed home and we're probably going to clean put away some groceries and then I'm really wanting to go on a walk, so. We are back home and um, we're done running errands. Actually, we're not. We still have one more place to go to today. We're gonna go to the Nespresso store in Bellevue because for some reason we weren't able to order Nespresso online. But I did wanna show you guys the bouquet I made. I bought a couple bunches of flowers from Town & Country. Well, Jordan got them for me. Very sweet. And I got to make this really cute bouquet. I wanted it to be kind of fall vibes, so that was kind of what I was going for when I picked out the flowers. There's four different kinds of flowers in here, but I really love the tones. But I wanted to give you guys an apartment update. Jordan is working, or was working on a shelf, the drawers that go here, and he just finished it, and I think it looks really cute now that it's all put together. So let me show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, this is the entryway extra storage area. This is the drawers that just got finished. I'm actually gonna be putting all of Layla's like little sweaters on this little drawer down here and then I'll put her leashes, harnesses and um, her bag that we sometimes carry here and when we go on walks. I was gonna put some of my stuff here but she's actually using up one of my drawers in my closet. So I thought it would just be better to have all her stuff in like this general area. And it's just really cute and it'll be easy for when we're on the go and whatnot. But. We're also gonna be hanging a rack right here. The one you guys saw we got at Ikea like three weeks ago. We're gonna hang it here potentially today and put jackets on it. We're not sure yet if we want to completely do that. We kind of like how this area is like not busy at all, but at the same time we need more jacket space. So we might just hold it up and see if we like it, like do some jackets there without putting holes in the wall yet just to see if we like it. But anyways, yeah, we're just doing a couple apartment things. It's like noon right now. We've accomplished so much today already. We've, we've done all the errands we needed to do for the weekend, besides the Nespresso store. Like I said, we completely blanked on that. But I'm loving how cozy our apartment is looking. I can't wait to finally find some art and a mirror to go up here. I think it'll really complete like our bedroom entryway, entryway area. But I don't think we're going to be looking anytime soon. Um, there's other things that need to get done. So we're going to prioritize other things as far as budget goes. But that will eventually get done in this apartment. So anyways, we're just going to relax now. So I'm just going to go hang out for a little. And then we might be heading to the Nespresso store. I also wanted to walk around the village just to window shop um, and see all their holiday stuff because it's so cute. I don't really think I'm gonna be going all crazy this year for holiday stuff. I have things that I bought last year that I have in a box in here that I'm gonna pull out, but once again, our apartment is super tiny. There's not much I can do, and I don't just wanna spend money just to spend money on holiday decor. The things I got last year too were super cute, so I think and I'm hoping that I can just set some of it out up here and just make it really cute and vibey, but I still wanna see the holiday stuff. It's still fun to window shop. So anyways, if I do go, I'll make sure to bring you guys along. It is time to make my lentil soup. I don't know if I told you guys, but 
I had planned a couple meals for this week. We're doing quinoa bowls and we're doing lentils. I'm just gonna make a big batch of lentil soup in my big caraway home pot. If you guys have never used caraway homes pots and pans, they're honestly amazing. I'm literally plugging them in this vlog because I love it so much. Um, I used to do our place and for some reason those just didn't work for me within like a month. They were completely ruined. Um, and I cook a lot, so I feel like they should have stayed in like good condition for a while. But anyways, um, my brother's calling me as you can hear. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'll be cooking in my caraway pots. I'm gonna be using this big one to cook the lentils in and then I'll be sauteing veggies in this one. I'll be sauteing tomato, potato, bell pepper, onion and garlic and that one which will all go in the lentil soup but anyways let's get this lentil soup going Alrighty, guys the lentil soup is done being prepped but it does need to sit and cook for about an hour but all the veggies are sauteed and they're very flavorful. And this will be super yummy once it's done cooking. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining this vlog. I won't be showing you guys the end results on here just because I'm gonna be ending the vlog here. This weekend vlog has been getting really long, so I'm just gonna cut it here. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining and I'll catch you guys at the next vlog.